What is the RDA for vitamin A? 1000 retinol equivalence for men, 800 RE for women, 1 RE is equal to 1 microgram of retinol. You can do all the calculations to see how much is 1000 RE. 1000 RE is the accepted international unit. Now the average intake usually meets the RDA and uh, many, ma, so much of uh, retinoids or uh, vitamin A are stored in the liver. So usually vitamin A supplements are unnecessary. They are more than that, they are teratogenic. What do you mean by teratogenic? They can cause deformation in the fetus if a pregnant woman is going to take vitamin A supplements. So it is essentially very important. They need not be, should not be given. Vitamin A supplements should not be given. Now there is no separate RDA for carotenoids it is given in the form of retinol equivalence itself now requirement is always more in growing children pregnant women lactating mothers in all these the requirement is more supplementation is not necessary dietary sources are usually sufficient to meet the daily requirement now let us go further with the absorption of vitamin a how is it going to take place? It is a fat soluble vitamin. So what is required for its, for its absorption? Bile salts. Now let us look at what will happen to retinoids and what will happen to beta carotene. The carotenoids and retinoids are handled differently within the body. Now in the retinoids, the retinyl esters are broken down to free retinol in small intestine. This also requires bile, requires digestive enzymes and it is finally integrated into my, my cells. Now what is happening is, remember this all, if it is alcoholic, it can form a ester with a uh, fatty acid and these are called as retinyl esters. So they are broken down, digestive enzymes and integrated into my cells. Once absorbed, retinyl esters are reformed within the intestinal cell. 90% of the retinoids can be absorbed. They reach the liver through chylomicrons. Remember, the chylomicrons will not enter the portal blood. Chylomicrons will enter into the lymphatic circulation. Chylomicrons, it is through the thoracic duct that they reach the systemic circulation. They go through all that skeletal muscle to adipose tissue to various extra hepatic tissue it is finally the chylomicron remnant which is reaching the liver and this remnant chylomicron remnant is containing containing the uh, vitamin a that has been absorbed so what happens to retinoids we saw let us see what happens to carotenoids the plant sources now they are absorbed as such intact absorption but the absorption rate is very much lower. The intestinal cells then contain, convert carotenoids into retinoids. As I said beta carotene if it is split it can form retinol. So this beta carotene is split and uh, it is converted into retinol. What is the name of the enzyme? It is known as beta carotene dioxygenase. It is uh, beta carotene dioxygenase. So Enzymatic occurs either in the liver where it is going or in the intestinal cell forming retinol and retinoic acid. The enzyme is beta carotene dioxygenase. Now what happens? How is this vitamin A transported? How is it stored? Now as I said the transport is via chylomicrons from the intestinal cells to the liver. Now the liver stores nearly 90% of the vitamin A in the body. How is it stored as? It is stored as retinyl palmitate means palmitic acid, a fatty acid is going to form a uh, ester bond with retinol and it is stored as retinyl palmitate within the body. Its reserve is usually adequate for several months uh, and it is enough to, uh, no need for supplementation. Now if you go ahead with the uptake of vitamin A, where all it is going to have the action, what is, how is it taken there and how is it taken up by these cells. Now it is transported from the liver to the target tissue as retinol via the retinol binding protein, RBP, retinol binding protein binds to vitamin A, retinol and takes it to all the tissues where vitamin A is having its function. Now when it has reached the cell which where it is having a function, this retinol, uh, retinol binding 
complex it binds to specific receptors on target tissues maybe it is retina maybe it is skin maybe it is gonads all the, these places retinol retinol binding protein rbp complex will go and bind to the specific receptor once it is bound there rbp is released rbp retinol binding protein is released and retinol is taken up by the by the tissue so retinal esters retinol binding protein is released and retinol enters the cell but once it enters the cell it has to bind to something else again aqueous medium is there it binds to what is called as cellular retinoic acid binding protein so as i was telling it is absorbed from the intestine now if it is in the form of retinoic acid it goes as chylomicrons 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 will travel all over the body lymphatic circulation and then it reaches the liver then it reaches by chylomicron remnant otherwise if you take as carotenoids itself they will be either broken down in the uh, intestinal cell to form retinoic acid and then retinoic acid or retinol and then they are absorbed and reach the liver now once they reach the liver that is where they are stored either from chylomicron remnant or through this mechanism once they reach the liver what will happen in the liver they may be stored as retinal palmitate they may be stored as retinal palmitate or they will be released to, to be taken to whichever tissues it wants so when it is going out it goes as retinol and retinol binding protein complex this retinol retinol binding protein uh, complex will reach different tissues maybe it is the retina in the eye or maybe it is the skin maybe it is a gonads or whichever tissue you want maybe it is a retina so when it reaches the cell what happens this when it reaches it releases rbp retinol binding protein which is reutilized which is reutilized it goes back and binds to more and it enters retinol enters it binds to cellular retinol binding protein it binds to cellular retinol binding protein and has its actions over there most of the time it is retinoic acid binding protein so let us in the target cells contain cellular retinoid binding proteins so this directs the retinoids to functional sites within the cells and protects retinoids from degradation what is the function of this it prevents the retinoids from getting degraded and it tells the retinoids where to go where it has to have its action i'll talk more about the different mechanism of action of uh, retinoids and retinol and retinal in the next session thank you